my name is Kiara Elliott, also known as Afrocentric Key, and I create unique oil painted portraits on recycled wood. By repurposing these recycled wood palettes, I'm able to not only give back to the world, uh, but also I'm able to challenge and create a new definition of what fine art is and what how it can be seen and also open the doors for what the potential of the future can look like for fine art, fine art artists. The reason why I use recycled wood is because I love the coining of the term turning trash into treasure. I'm able to repurpose a source of product that is usually only seen when building homes, construction sites, just kind of tossed there for the little simple jobs and then tossed away like it was nothing. By repurposing this, I'm able to change that dialogue, change that relationship of how we view using this material, but also how we view fine art and how we view portraiture. Oftentimes, portraits are seen as being these lovely canvas paintings, and that's that, specifically when it comes to using oil paint. It's always been for decades and years and years, oil paint on canvas. I love to change that and challenge that in the sense that why can't we see oil paint on different surfaces and why can't we see the images that are created from these oil paintings as beautiful as they are, why can't they be wider scaled represented? My inspiration for creating my work really comes from wanting to pay homage and tribute to the everyday woman. The woman that is out there doing what she needs to do for her family, providing a source of love, comfort, a source of here's a ear to listen, a shoulder to cry on, and really putting forth those beautiful, strong, unique, real images of women that we often sometimes take for granted or we don't really see them as playing or don't realize that they play such a big part in our lives because we're so used to having them around. With me and my artwork, this is my chance to kind of tell their stories in a unique way, but also coming from my own perspective. In my ability in doing this, I'm able to create unique images, portrait images, that focus on women from the African, African American, Caribbean and Afro-Caribbean diasporas and taking in that language and telling their stories, paying homage to their everyday life, but also the faces that we see just on a regular basis and really putting them into the forefront of our conversations and promoting them in their beauty and their vulnerability. A real conversation about what represent, representation means, how it can be portrayed, and what the lack of representation means for the art community. I feel oftentimes that the art community, although open and welcome to the different styles of artwork, still is very narrow in the definition of what it really means to have representation and to have multiple forms of that representation. So I took it upon myself with Afrocentric Key and bringing a forefront and bringing that conversation to the table and creating a space, a safe space to where I can promote beauty, strength, uniqueness, realness, and as well as promote my community and promote the images that I wish that I would have seen growing up as a little, little child and even now. Someone being strong and a go-getter and pairing them with that animal-like feature such as a tiger or such as a panther to where it's really drawing in the essence of what that animal means in the society world and fusing those two in the sense that you can see physically see the hunger in that animal animal-like spirit that is within that portrait and that's portrayed in that portrait i'm able to create all of these different lines and dialogues with all using a recycled material to really hound it in on how we can really open up that space and that creative space to think outside of the box and be able to reimagine what we've seen as the classical way of doing an oil paint it's, or oil painting, especially a portrait. In doing all of this, I really want to take my journey thus far as an artist and really push that conversation and push that awareness to really dive in deeper on telling these stories but also how we can tell these stories in the different spaces along with going into mental health 
going, like I said before, into representation, going into of where you see these images. They can't always just be hounded on you only or limited to a museum or a gallery, but they can also go into commercial spaces, go into homes, go into schools or wherever you see it kind of fit to where you're now spreading these images around that do make you think, that do make you stop and really take in what that image is supposed to represent, how one can really take a message from it, and what other side conversations you can have with that after you've left the image, after you no longer have that image right in front of you, what other conversations does that lead to? These are the type of questions that I want to provoke in each viewer that sees my work, but also have an everlasting impression in your mind of how you can now see things different than what you've always seen them as. How you can kind of really dig in deeper and not just associate one type of work with an artist, but really dive in and really take in what the different levels of my artwork I would also have to say that the biggest question that I've kind of really started asking myself was what next? How are you going to keep pushing that scale? What uh, is your end game? <laughs> what if there is an end game? And these are all questions that honestly I still ask myself to this day every day no matter if I have just finished five paintings or if I'm stuck on one. I'm constantly asking myself trying to make sure that my artwork really is being intentional, really is being, per it has a purpose and is touching people in ways that they then are able to start hard conversations at home and able to use my artwork as a foundation tool, as a source of unifying everyone and being able to kind of hound in on different aspects and really listen to the different stories that each viewer is drawing from each piece that I create. That ultimately is what my goal is for the future for myself and seeing my work in spaces that would, you wouldn't ordinarily see artwork, specifically see artwork that is so focused on the African, Caribbean, and African American ideology and imagery. And I want those images to really be promoted and put into these challenging, quote unquote, challenging spaces to really give leeway to opening up.